Hi, I'm Holly from Keto Chow, and this is Chef Taffney. We are making mocha tiramisu mousse. Hey, Holly, how are you? Doing good. <laughs> good. All right, so this is another recipe. Actually, I don't know if we've made anything with mocha before. So we're going to use uh, mocha and bolster the mocha flavor by adding some coffee. We've got some co cold coffee and a little cocoa at the end to garnish. And we're making uh, similar to just a tiramisu, a traditional Italian dessert, pick me up. And I'm gonna start by blending together my, I believe my keto chow, my sweetener, my coffee, right? Yes, Am I correct? and your vanilla. Yeah. And my vanilla. So I've got a half a cup of granulated sweetener, about a teaspoon or so of vanilla, one scoop or one packet of mocha Keto chow. And a cup of, you can use brewed coffee that is cold, or you can make instant coffee. I've used instant espresso powder, about a tablespoon in a cup of water, cold water. And I'm gonna mix this together. That's trying to attack you. <laughs> it's got a mind of its own. It's okay. All right, I smell that coffee. And then we're gonna add in uh, one package, which is one pound or 16 ounces of mascarpone. And mascarpone is actually a soft cheese, but it's very similar to maybe a creme fraiche or something creamy that you're used to. And this is definitely one of the components of a traditional tiramisu. I'm gonna get some of that in there. It's quite thick and it's also very delicious. I always thought it was similar to a cream cheese or something like that. It is. It's not as uh, tangy maybe, sweeter, milder, but basically that- it, A you little know, more buttery flavor than- Yeah, but it's basically a creamy, un- let me put the lid back on that maybe we'll... Mm -hmm. What's the word I'm trying to say? A fresh cheese, an unripened cheese. <laughs> Just have a mix. couple spatulas going on there. <laughs> yeah. What would life be without a spatula? That looks nice and light and fluffy. And I'm going to actually... Do I need to go wash those? Yeah, here, let me just get this off of there as much as I can. I'm going to now whip some heavy cream and fold that into this mixture. So let's just give those a once over. Thank you. Before you stick your elbow in it. 
Maybe I wanted to stick my elbow. You wanted to stick your elbow in there. <laughs> Alrighty, and I'm just going to whip one cup of heavy cream till it's uh, soft peaks. Should be good. Oops, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> and... Yep, that looks good. And we're just gonna fold this into our mascarpone mixture. Gently. And the whipped cream just lightens it up, softens it up, and of course increases the volume a little bit. And the keto chow is going to give it uh, some body. It'll set up as it chills. We're gonna chill this for at least a couple hours. You can definitely chill it overnight. So it's another great make-ahead snack or dessert. And another nice one, because you can portion it as you finish it, just decide what size portion you want. Either put it into some pretty glasses or to some take, take away some containers if you want to take it with you for lunch or maybe some. breakfast since it's sort of coffee on the go. <laughs> I was going to say need... some, some cute ramekins for yeah. a party. If you want your coffee, you can eat with a spoon. Okay, I don't want to over blend it because I want to keep it nice and light and fluffy. So that should do it. And we have a spoon there, right? We do have a spoon. It has a little whipped cream on it. Uh, nothing wrong with that. And we're just going to fill up some glasses. I'm going to fill up one of these glasses here. Try to keep it neat. You can then, if you want, garnish this with some whipped cream or some more whipped mascarpone. Got a little on the edge, but that's okay. I'll clean it up. It looks very pretty. It does. And we're going to just shake a little cocoa powder over it like a traditional tiramisu. Sorry, we got a little whipped cream everywhere. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just got a small tiny little uh, strainer or sieve here. I've got the cocoa powder in there and I'm just going to shake it. I... You can put paper or a tray or something under it so you don't get it all over. And that's it. Mm. 
Mocha tiramisu.